hello to your close colleague, Anthony Gregory, who I met and talked in, in at length with and is an excellent writer as well. Uh, well, thank you for those kind words. I, uh, uh, I, I'm almost apprehensive when someone says I've changed his life, <laughs> worried that it may have been for the worse. But uh, at all events, uh, to answer your question, I, I, I don't know that there's any quick way uh, to give people a, a, the kind of appreciation that one gains from a, a, a more concentrated study of uh, Austrian economics. But there are excellent uh, books available for beginners. Uh, one that's been used for decades uh, is Henry Hazlitt's book, Economics in One Lesson. And, and that little book has sold millions of copies, and it's still very worthwhile reading now. The examples are dated, uh, but uh, the, the economic logic is as sound now as it was uh, when the book first came out. But there are more recent books that, that are helpful in the, in the same way. Uh, Robert Murphy, uh, has some very good books. In fact, uh, a, a new book of his on the Great Depression is just about to be published now, I believe, any day. Uh, and uh, Thomas Woods uh, also has some very good introductory books. David Gordon and Gene Callahan have written good introductory books, all of which can be readily understood by people with no previous background in studying economics. So uh, I recommend all of these, the, these sources uh, quite highly. Bakersfield, California. Uh, hello, Mr. Hicks. Uh, well, my wife actually hailed from Oklahoma, <laughs> so it was interesting to hear that you, you live there. And we live in the Central Valley here now. But I'm curious, um, you know, I've been a libertarian for about 25 years, so I, I won't take issue with most of what you say. But I wonder when you say that, that it's essentially theft to take from one through taxation to give to another on an individual level, um, how do you feel about, or as another caller had asked, about the proper role of government when, when they tax or essentially steal from everyone to provide for the common good? What do you consider is the proper role of government? And taking your argument to the extreme as far as um, uh, Social Security and whatnot, aren't, don't we essentially have to be willing to let people die in the streets if they do not handle their finances properly? For example, if they opted out of Social Security or... or or whatnot? Uh, we need to remember that all the money that goes into Social Security comes from us. And if it comes from us and we're never taken by the government, then it would be in our possession for the relief of the destitute. And furthermore, it wouldn't have been diminished by passing through the bureaucracy to support the Social Security Administration. It's a leaky bucket whenever we transfer income through government because the the transfer uh, personnel themselves eat up resources along the way. Uh, in addition, uh, uh, the government doles out the money according to bureaucratic rules, uh, kind of one-size-fits-all type rules, which means that the assistance can never be tailored uh, so that it goes to those who, who truly are most deserving and does not go to those who are ba basically uh, gaming the, the system at our expense. So there's a lot to be said for, for never taking the money away from people in the first place. And when I say that, uh, I certainly uh, mean to uh, suggest that, no, I don't think people would be dying in the streets if we'd never had Social Security. Before we had Social Security, people were not dying in the streets for want of assistance. Uh, it's true that uh, the society was much poorer but that wasn't because it lacked Social Security. It was because uh, if we go back far enough in history, uh, the economy was not as productive as it is now. So uh, poverty was almost a necessity given the lack of productivity historically. But uh, there was no lack of uh, people's assistance and help. I mentioned earlier all the fraternal organizations, thousands and thousands of them that existed in this country and other countries before government took over the social ins insurance uh, systems. Uh, th there were countless churches, countless neighbors, countless friends, countless relatives. These were sources of assistance to people in need. Furthermore, they were, they were people who knew the persons they were assisting. They could, they could tailor the assistance so that they gave what was most needed, when it was most needed, and they gave moral support 
What you get now, you deal with a bureaucrat uh, in a welfare office. This is one of the most demeaning experiences anyone can have. You're forced to go in and beg for your livelihood from somebody who's just holding down a job watching the clock to go home at 5 o'clock. It's far superior to have a system in which the destitute are aided by those who are close to them rather than relying on losing money by filtering it through government middlemen and then relying on uh, one-size-fits-all rules, exploitable rules, corruptible rules, rules subject to the vagaries of politics, uh, rather than relying on that very imperfect means, uh, people have the capacity to develop through charitable uh, organizations, and to some extent they have anyhow, uh, measures to relieve uh, distress and to help people in ways that are really uh, effective and useful, and most of all, that uh, give people help in a way that uh, if they can be removed from that situation, they are removed. They're not simply made dependent to stay forever on the government dole because it creates a kind of electorate for politicians that support that system. About 15 minutes left with our guest here on In Depth, Robert Higgs, Middletown, New Jersey. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Dr. Higgs. Having grown up uh, under totalitarian communism in Eastern Europe, I can't help but uh, agree with many of your opinions. However, however, uh, at this point in time, as you said earlier, in order to be realistic, governments aren't going anywhere. If anything, they are becoming globalized. There's global mechanisms to address global issues. So uh, taxation is not going anywhere. Uh, wouldn't you agree that uh, a more efficient use of our energies would be to improve the government, to make the government work better for most of the people, to uh, uh, control the financing uh, disaster that's happening in Washington on a daily basis, uh, to take the profit motive out of many of our uh, common uh, uh, endeavors, such as health, health care, for instance, where it doesn't belong, just like it doesn't belong in uh, police or fire departments. Caller, where did you grow up? Uh, in uh, Romania, in Bucharest, Romania. Thank you. Let's get uh, an... In the other side, and I agree with most of the criticism, but... Uh, there is a role for government, no question. Instead of talking about lesser government, let's talk about better government, how to improve the government. Thank you, caller. Uh, that's always the hope. That's the hope uh, that springs eternal. That uh, the problem is not that we have government involvement. Uh, the problem is how government is involved. And what we need is to make government uh, more effective, uh, to reduce waste, fraud, and abuse. Uh, but uh, the interesting thing is when we study the growth of government, what we find is waste, fraud, and abuse only grow as government grows. The more power government has, the more waste, fraud, and abuse almost invariably go along with that growth. Uh, of course, if we have to be stuck with government, we'd, we would prefer a government that was less wasteful, that was more humane, a government that did not... Uh, dole out privileges to the rich, a government that did not prop up corporations that ought to be closed down. Uh, but as the caller said, what we're seeing instead is an internationalization of government power. In the past, there's been some protection for people because they could run away from government abuse, as I presume the caller ran away from Romania at one time, a horrible government. Uh, many people attempted to escape from communist regimes. People attempt now to escape from Cuba. Uh, they, uh, they attempt to escape whenever they're subject to these tyrannical governments. But fortunately for them, in the past, there has been some place to which they could escape. But what we're seeing now is that harmonization, a sweet-sounding uh, movement uh, of government cooperation, is in effect producing cartels of government that are worldwide. Governments are, are trying to shut down so-called tax havens. That is, shut down places where people can go to escape being robbed 